What is up guys, Jake here and I'm back with the second episode of my Around the World series. We're both still making that Garner team and here I am making a few additions to the squad. Buying Jonathan Mensah for the centre of defence, Quadro Samoa for a bit more quality in the centre of midfield and lastly Paddy Nayarko to be my pacer on the wings. More Garnains in my team have boosted my chemistry up to around 60th so we are getting there slowly but steadily. And that's how the team looks now with a few smatterings of gold, but still relatively poor, worth about as much as a Greek economy. But the difference between me and Greece, I can bitch slap people on this game and get my coins back. So we're going to hop into a game where we come up against a similarly ranked team, but with much better chemistry than us as he has the full 100. And I think it's a Serie B team that's created, so it should be a good challenge. They can see his team, and it doesn't look like much on the face of it, but... He has got some speed demons in there, and as everyone does an ultimate team, so my defence is going to get run ragged throughout the 90 minutes. Always fun times against the pace horse. Early in the game, been coming under a lot of pressure early on, and the pressure finally tells. Boaki finds a way through after a good bit of skill past the defender, and smashes it into the bottom corner, hard and low. Keeper has no chance. Can we find the answer? Yes we can. Straight back up the other end of the pitch, crosses it in, and Dominic Adiar is there to finish with a beautiful header. Really doesn't take much to score when you're playing against these bronze and silver keepers, but it works both ways unfortunately, as the opposition breaks up the other end, and after hitting the post, my keeper just gets in the way of the backtracking defenders, and that's 2-1. What a knob. For some reason the recording there is jumpy, but if you look past that, what a strike from Stefan Radu. Didn't expect that to fly in like it did. When I've tried that in the past with these players, it ended up looking worse than the Charlie Adam penalty. But once again, we couldn't hold on to the draw as we conceded again after some sloppy defending, and this just looked like it wasn't going to be our day. But then the game took another twist as we levelled the score again. Bit of a trampy goal maybe, but at this moment, the comeback was on. Could we do it? Would we have the headlines? Would we have songs sung in our glory? Could we win the game? Short sure answer is no. We were put to the sword once again and the story of the match continued as it had been thus far with another goal conceded to make the score 4-3. And just to kick me while I'm down, just to rub salt into the wound, just to piss on me while I'm down with a kick wound in my face filled with salt, he scores again making it 5-3 and finally putting the game to rest. In all honesty, a fair result, but I couldn't help but feel slightly robbed after we had come from behind three times to level the scores, only to come away with nothing but some pity coins from EA. So what do I do to regain my pride? I go out there and hopefully find a noob that I can beat with my eyes closed while sitting upside down facing the window. Well, the game chucks up this guy, so hopefully I can give him a FIFA lesson. Similarly matched once again, and he's not got that all-important 100 chemistry, so let's see how we do. He has a team full of silvers, but there's nobody I recognise straight away as a glaring threat. So there is every chance of me kicking this guy's ass. But once again, we go 1-0 down early on in this match. Hasselbank with a good strike into the bottom corner this time. And the frustration continues for me in the early minutes of matches. But we hit them on the break, and Adia is there to cut inside and place one in the bottom corner for 1-0. Back in the game, but we need to make sure we don't throw it away this time. And this time we actually take the lead after Chibza loses out in the box. De La Torre is there to pick up on the loose ball, cuts inside and finds the top corner in style. Beautiful goal. And that gave us a lead at 2-1. But we aren't content with two. We want more and we get more. Chibza runs onto the cross and smashes the volley and with good techers for such a shirt player. And that was the game over as he couldn't hack it anymore. He quits, and we pick up the victory and those all-important coins. So I searched for someone in my price range, and the options were limited, but I picked up Jordan Ayew for a good price. Decent pace, dribbling and shooting, so he should be a good addition. With Jordan Ayew placed up front, it was time for another match where we came up against this guy. He wasn't statistically as good as us, and as his team shows, really isn't very good. Not much of a threat, and we have the much better team here, and we should really be beating him comfortably. And this time as Ozzy strikes first as Asamoah dances his way into the box and then loses it. But if you dick around with that like that in your own area, then you deserve to be punished. And that's exactly what happened as Asamoah finished calmly for 1-0. But we couldn't hold on to the lead for long as a 1-2 put the striker through. Terrible slide tackle and a simple finish. Taking us the half time at 1-0, but we had the better half and we were not going to be denied of our win. 
We piled on the pressure like a fat chick on top and after a neat passing move Jordan Ayu beats the defender and finishes on his debut to give us the lead once more. We made it through to the 80th minute and it looked like it was going to be smooth sailing for the rest of the game but Matt Darby had other ideas as he leaves the defender for dust and slots home and it looked like we had been robbed on the home straight but Jordan Ayu wasn't going to let that shit fly. Beats the man not once but twice before finishing from a tight angle. The game finished at 3-2 and that dramatic late goal seals the win and the episode. That's all folks, be sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed and as always, thanks for watching.